Extra, extra, read all about it, Capricorn. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. This is an oracle card reading, not a horoscope. So, so it's going to get the Capricorn energies and it's going to translate it to you. That's what it's going to do. So if this is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury, Jupiter, Uranus. But wherever Capricorn influences your natal chart, you can apply these themes and energies for the next week or so. I upload a new Capricorn video every single week. So... Um, if you want them fresh off the press, please do click subscribe, help the channel grow and get the videos alerts. Like there's a little notification bell, ring that bell. You'll get notifications. You'll get notified as soon as I upload all the content you really care about. Um, there's always an extended reading always and forever. And it, it's cause it's got to be the energy readings are wonderful and they're beautiful in how general they are. Um, but the extended readings really go in deeply into personalization. They personalize the reading, they articulate it, they get into specifics. And there's also the full romance predictions, um, over there as well. So that link is below. I'll see you over there, Capricorn. Let's get into Capricorn. Set healthy boundaries. Interesting. This is Cancerian energy too. I'm wondering, uh, Scorpio got a bunch of Cancer energy as well in their reading. You know, Capricorn, I'm just wondering if, if something's going on with, around with um, Cancerian energy. This is, this is really, I know that the North Node in the next couple of months is going to change from Cancer to Gemini. So maybe this is the last ditch effort of, hey, remember what I've taught you to not suffer in silence and to let down your guard. And yes, boundaries are very important in Capricorn. You're very good at setting boundaries, but what kind of boundaries are you setting? Are the walls too thick? Are they too high? Are they crushing you? Because a boundary that crushes you and lots of times, what are our boundaries? Our boundaries for Capricorn especially is your adherence to law and your expectation for other people to stick to it as well. It becomes your defense mechanism. It becomes your justification for, um, you know, for pushing people away or determining their value. Um, it also becomes a way for you to feel really good about yourself. And, and look, I did things by this, by the book and, and how it was dictated. There's a very draconian understanding or acceptance of what the law is can be a boundary, but it can also be your defense mechanism and it can be what is really in, like underneath your attempt to um, feel good feel safe feel protected and feel valued but has it weighed you down to too much this is this is you, you you really this is an energy of crumbling under the pressure that you've put on yourself that's what this is the energy of. Um, this is very low vibrational Cancerian energy because there's this soft, tender, aching individual underneath that's just so tender and kind and wants to come out, but he's got this heavy armor on and he just, if the armor is weighing him down, he can't move fast, he can't be like move agile, ag agilely, or he can't, like it, it's, it's um, the boundaries that the, the, the boundaries that are being set are cumbersome and intrusive. So at Armadillo Spirit is the one, Armadillo Spirit is crowning your energy. So that's basically the theme of this, this reading is going to be how, how are the boundaries that you're setting really impeding your happiness, uh, getting in the way of them. Interesting. This is three. The energy of three is divine. Uh, body, mind, and spirit, perfect trinity, holy trinity, complete evenness, complete balance. Um, so it's, it's, a, it's speaking to your life is out of balance. I know your life is out of balance, but your intention is for it to be balanced. So what you think you're doing is making your life balanced and completely strong. But what you're really doing is literally setting it on top of you and crushing yourself. Generous, be generous to spirit. Leo energy, three plus seven is the energy of 10. Uh, looking forward into your future, wanting to take the lead, feeling good and competent enough to take the lead. Um, needing, this is in some way in relationship to the crowning energy, needing to be <clears throat> the leader, needing to be seen, needing to be noticed. Uh, needing to be acknowledged by the world at large or feeling invisible. 
feeling crushed and um, um, like like you can never accomplish what you really accomplish. Like there's there's always a struggle and there's always a, a like a like a uh, no you don't get it. A denial, a denial of, of who you are, but that denial starts inside of you. And I think that that's the lesson to be learned here is denial of who you really are is starting in you. And because of this adherence, this need to feel safe, this adherence to all these practicalities is actually um, damaging your full potential. Nothing is wasted. So this is lesson learned. The energy of nine is something's coming to an end. Something's coming to a head. It's coming out. It's realizing if this is finding treasure in a trash heap, finding value where you had never found it before. Um, this could be a visit from a past love. This could be a visit from an old friend. This could just be going through things in your life and realizing that, that you know, you've been hoarding things or holding on to too many things. And that is making you realize that you hold on to too many things in general. Whatever it is, is, is that you're going through a pile of tr what other people may consider trash and you're getting treasures out of it. You're finding treasures in it. Um, you're making a decision to take what you have in front of you, even if it isn't the perfect situation and apply a sense of confidence and hope for the future to it and that's what you're doing you're you're finding treasure in a trash heap um give with gratitude and grace this is the energy six plus one is seven creating something creating something with your very bones and your very body deciding to put your whole self in or finding getting an opportunity that you really want to put your whole self into so this is good stuff coming in for the future um um what concerns me is this energy that could be crushing you. Let's keep dealing the cards because that's sort of what I want to keep getting into. The abundant universe will provide. This is your central energy, Taurus energy. Um, focus on the 3D world and finances and that you, you, you somehow always come up with the finances are coming in. There is opportunities coming in. There is a new offering coming into you that will bring you resources and finances that I think that you really need. The universe is filled with abundance. So maybe this was your starting place. This was a place where you were feeling really crushed. And maybe it's that you stopped adhering to the rules and you started bending the rules, not to say the law, but to say bending the rules and, and allowing what you wouldn't have allowed or, or the standards breaking down, but you're not really breaking the standards. You're breaking the inhibitors. You're breaking the boundaries. You're breaking things that really didn't matter that much. You thought they mattered and you maybe thought that they made you look good. Maybe they made you feel good, but you're realizing they're a bunch of BS and that there was actually value in those things that you never put value into before. So now you're starting to see value where you didn't see it before. You're starting to appreciate it. This is a kind of energy that can go very underappreciated. So this could be what you're discovering Capricorn or what's happening to you is the undiscovered value, right? We don't value turkeys. We kill them, we chop off their heads, we eat them for Thanksgiving and like a week after on sandwiches. Like we don't really understand just how important this energy is. They give their whole self to, to you and to feed you and to feed you for a week, to feed your family. That's the energy of being under appreciated, <clears throat> giving a lot, giving a lot, being underappreciated. So this is the energy of something that was underappreciated, finally being discovered and finally being seen. And I think it's happening both through you and to you, Capricorn. I think it was your ability to finally break through, relinquish all those preconceived notions of yours of what's right and what's wrong. And basically, because you're put in a situation where you're uncomfortable, where you have to make do with what you have. And now you're starting to see that there's value outside of those staunch walls that you, that you set up. And with you, remember our focus determines our reality, right? That's Abraham Hicks or, you know, uh, Star Wars. <laughs> that's where I heard it. Um, but that's, that's basically the energy of once you see it and your focus goes outside of the walls, now all of a sudden other people are treating you the same and starting to see your abundance and your value, even though they originally took advantage of you or passed you over. The abundant universe will provide, this is your central energy. So it's not just happening to you and you're getting money and money's coming in because you're finding value where you didn't find it before, but it's also happening around you and coming at you. Mm, nice, really beautiful. Um, time to let go. 
of the things that were needling your heart, of the stress. I'm really feeling stress here. This is underworld energy, maybe dreams you were having, even stressed out in your dreams. This is the energy of three plus one, which is four. So grounding, an energy that grounds you, uh, finding your home and your, your safe place and your safe haven and being able to release and let go of those things that had nothing to do with keeping you safe. Hiding underground, hiding, hiding from what? Wanting to always feel secure and safe was actually penting you up and keeping you prisoner, being able to relinquish the need to just not be seen or fly under the radar. This is you being able to let go of those things that were hurting or stressing your heart. Capricorn, 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 Capricorn. No, you don't want to talk anymore. Hold on. Capricorn, Capricorn. And that's your card. Wow. Five, 23, take the lead. This is you reconstructing what it is to be right and wrong. This is you making, making decisions and actually being part of the structure system. This is the government. This is that law, law and order, but it's you, it's your energy. It's the energy of you building the new scaffolding, you building or helping to guide and contribute to the building of a whole new way of doing things, a whole new right way. And maybe this right way is a little bit more flexible than the old right way. Once you've realized that the right way is only right for a certain amount of time, and then you have to find a new right way, you never forget it. And you always know then to not defend the old way too much because there is a time when it just stops being what's right and you have to move on to something new. And this is the construction of something new um, from ground up, like setting your basement basement layers maybe you're even digging through your basement right now like i said a bunch of boxes going through tag sales and stuff this energy of digging through what the 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 stuff that you hoarded the stuff that you held on to um the stuff that you have to get out of your way finding value in them and then getting rid of the rest or finding value while you get rid of it like selling stuff, selling stuff off. Uh, lucky, now is a lucky time. This is rabbit energy, rabbit spirits. Um, multiplying what you already have. So um, finding abundance in the things that you already have and being able to generate more from it. Yeah, multiple, yeah. Like, like, um, like finding, it's almost, okay. It's, it's like finding that you don't need the boundaries on the outside because you don't need the boundaries on the outside because the boundaries are on the inside. You have everything that you need. Even when the walls come down, you have the ability to build new ones. In fact, walls are supposed to come down. They're not supposed to stay there forever. You're not supposed to hold on to the way things were forever and ever and ever. You're supposed to allow them to change because the walls and the ability to build walls are on the inside of you. So that never actually leaves you. You don't have to burden yourself or hide or push yourself down or, or conform or hold on that tight because you will always, you have, you have the power to build new structures inside of you. This is finding that value inside of you. The energy of nine plus four plus nine is 13, four. Yeah. Uh, four is the energy of stability of um, feeling the ground underneath your feet of feeling secure and this, that's finding security inside of you finding the abundance already inside of you which is multiplying the abundance outside of you grounding your energy overcome any obstacle this is stubbornness this is a decision to not give up to not give in this is also sort of sometimes being stubborn duck um, in a mindset and not moving forward. It's sort of the dark side of that Taurus energy of um, uh, not being able to see the path or see the way clear. So this is definitely something that you're still struggling with, or at least you feel stuck. But here you are, trust in divine detours. In other words, you have found 
you have realized that what you what you had or what you were stuck in wasn't for you and you didn't know the way forward so this is spirit coming in to assist you and guide you and show you the direction forward to help you create a new structure or a new roadway um, and then you just following it you allowing spirit to follow you you following blindly you being in awe of what spirit is saying to you connecting to the ether like those antenna like receiving those messages but first you had to relinquish your control and that's what that's this energy of relinquishing control and trusting in the direction that spirit is pulling you so it gets you unstuck because only moving away from that quicksand pit is going to get you unstuck you can't get unstuck in the quicksand pit you're just going to drown there the only way to get through it is to accept this divine intervention and allow it to lead you through so this is something happening outside of you that is carrying you in the direction that you need to go um and hope getting stuck getting getting um getting out of a rut that you were stuck in that's what this energy is in terms of the grounding energy uh and it's through faith it's through trusting in the uncontrollable or the spontaneous this is sagittarius energy very different energy from you it thrives in chaos so there's chaos all around you there's a lot of craziness all around you this is your decision to find value in it instead of uh, insist upon it being preserved letting it go this could be the sale of a house this could be the sale of like an apartment like selling something that was uh, like a structure like getting rid of it allowing it to get out of your life uh giving it away or realizing like i was saying in the rest of the reading the time is up for it. It served its purpose and now it's time for it to just leave and go or finding different ways to use what you have that are untraditional in order to bring in the abundance that is waiting for you. Uh, hold on, uh, hold, hold on as I flip the camera, hold on. So here you go. Um, a beautiful energy of becoming unstuck or letting go of something that you were stuck on which could very well be an actual structure this is taurus energy so this is a mind it could be a mindset stubbornness or actual 3d value finances or being stuck in financial drain being stuck financially and then spirit intervening to lead you in a new direction that is going to help you out of that rut so that's your grounding energy your crowning energy is basically um be feeling the weight that's upon you the burdens of being stuck you don't really want to be stuck anymore you're like help me help me like see his poor little eyes he's just like please please help somebody help me out of this freaking shell that i can't move in but at the same time so spirit heard your prayer okay and that's that beautiful energy coming through of being able to like getting these divine ideas or finding a flexibility in spirits to use your abundance and what you have in a different way instead of um um you know instead of the traditional way central to your readings your central energy is finding that abundance abundance coming to you but also abundance going working through you finding a different way to see abundance developing a new relationship with abundance um, and releasing those old concepts that basically were holding you down and holding you back but also digging in very very deep and setting new foundations setting new cornerstones um, based on what you already have is almost like reconstruction that's that's kind of what this is it's almost like reconstructing what you already have to squeeze more value out of it let's go over to the extended to continue this reading the story um and get a little bit um more detail as well as go into your romance reading um capricorns i love you guys i'll see you in the extended the link is below